markers and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Um, okay, folks, I posted a chart of a er, interday chart from yesterday through today. Uh, well, actually, through the eighth, ninth, and the eighth and ninth, which is yesterday and today. Uh, basically, I wanted to show you the ABCD pattern that was here and the mistake that I made. The first thing that I did when I went to work for Commodity Corporation in 1985 was uh, to meet with the psychologist there and also the risk control manager. And uh, they said there were two ways to that you were to stop trading when you were in a commodity corporation. One, if there was a death in the family or if you were going through a divorce or you were moving. You got an automatic, automatic paid sabbatical. And so that's it. Anyway, I... I found out yesterday of course that Steve my friend Steve Shapiro passed away but I have positions on for our folks at 24-7 we're long beans we were long corn uh, we were short stocks I said to sell the stocks at 4307 at the 1.27 expansion but I didn't look to see what the low was yesterday folks I didn't see that till after the fact I put my stop right above the 1618 so we lost 10 cents on that so we sold it back at uh, 4324 uh, using a 10 point stop of course that one's worked well i don't know where it is right now but uh, that that's one of the reasons why you know you got to be really focused at this folks and i sent a little video out apologizing for the lack of discipline because there was just no reason for that other than just uh, not looking at the whole chart and watching the whole picture uh, the soybeans are still doing quite well the last time i saw them uh, yeah, they're up 12 cents. That's up 20 cents, uh, 30 cents from where we bought them. And then the uh, what, uh, what's the other one that we have? Uh, the uh, Treasury bonds. They're up. Uh, well, we, we sold the Treasury bonds for a $1,100 profit. And then uh, we also now we're short the uh, S&P from 34, uh, uh, 24, and we put a stop at 34, uh, 34. Uh, those were the ones that we were watching. We we're waiting to buy gold. But that's uh, going to have to be down a little bit lower. And then we also have an order in to sell the euro, but it's uh, quite a ways from there. So we probably won't be filled here today. By the way, our guest today will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. But first of all, I want to tell you uh, a story that I just literally, you know, I, I'm not a stock trader, folks. I don't know Jack Diddley about stocks. But all I heard this morning when I got up on uh, watching Bloomberg was Carvana. That's all they were talking about. The 50% move in Car Car Carvana. How bullish it was. This is they said this is a this is a sign that the market is breaking out to new all-time highs with a stock like this, folks. I know about as much about Carvana other than watching the commercials than anything else. But I did once uh, when I was getting ready to change cars check out to see how Carvana worked. Well, they'll buy your car from you, for folks, but for about 40% less than the lowest wholesale price you can possibly get. So it's silly to sell your car to that company. So then what I said was, if that's the case, let's just take a look at this on a longer time frame. So what I did was I went out to a whole year. I went out to July. When you see this, you're going to say, who was doing the reporting? Don't they ever look at these charts? Look at this chart, folks. This is from last July. What did we do? We came right up to the 382 retracement today. Now for the sequel. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. And we'll get up here and show you what the real picture of Carvana looks like. And I've been following this for a very long time because I have good friends in the car business. They alerted me to this stock that, that was headed south a long time ago. You can see right here, there was a 382 retracement right there. You can see the multiple ABCDs measuring up to the top. 
Now, you don't have to be a, a mathematician, but uh, there's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three, there's your 3A2 retracement, and it had, you can see it's been going down, and you can see where we are today. From 310, or 360, to ten dollars a share and they're getting excited about it now because it's moved up the news was that they got an influx of cash well I will say this they're probably going to need it that's my two cents worth okay now someone says why in the world were you selling stocks up there today I'm just looking at the Russell the fact that it made that beautiful pattern 1618 the NASDAQ which is in a you know that's just basically you know, uh, seven or eight stocks. I already know that. I mean, what Tesla's been up, what, 11 days in a row here? All I'm doing is looking at two things. I'm looking at that ABCD pattern there. And remember, the 61% retracement came in at 43.11. We did make a higher high, but by just a marginal amount. So I don't think that's scary. But the one chart that really does bother me, and I know people think I'm, uh, you know, uh, went over the deep end here, but this is the one that scares me, folks. This is a picture of the S&P along with, there's the real S&P down here, and this is the S&P with those seven stocks in it. You can see the giant ABCD, and again, you see the one, two, three drive to a top pattern. Now, I don't know. I thought it was last week. It, you know, We had a nice trade in it last week. We made a really nice trade in it today. Today we had a loss. Now we've had a small winner. But uh, whether that's going to be the case or not, I don't know. All I know is this pattern really is suspect to me, especially when you hear it in the news all the time that everything's great, you know, and, uh, you know, everybody's okay. And when I heard that story about Carvana, I said, holy moly, I just can't believe that people are actually thinking in that in that realm. Let's take a look at another one that we talked about last week, just to give you an idea uh, when you listen to the news, pay attention to what the charts are doing. This is the chart of live cattle. And if you'll see here, you know, we were saying, you get ready because they're going to make new highs from 2014, which they did. They got up to 179. And on that day, I was uh, on the air and I said, uh, I said, okay, take a night. You know, I told them to people that su subscribe to the 24 7. Watch for a 382 retracement of this move up in here to see if that's going to be the spot to uh, uh, to sell. And it was. But look what happened afterwards, folks. If you like, and that and to prove that the market has had some type of a major top now uh, in the cattle market, all you have to do is to take a look at what's happened uh, just recently here in the last two days. And I've got that chart here. And now it's hiding in the bushes, and I don't know why it's doing that, because I certainly hear that's not it, I don't think. Son of a gun, where did you go, cattle? I, don't, I, I write the names on them and everything, and I still can't find the darn thing. <laughs> Shut the front door and raise the rent, and now I found it. Here it is. Okay, here is an August cattle, and you'll see the 382 retracements uh, on the way down here. Uh, by the way, our guest uh, at the half hour will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. So stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. I'll clean up my act here in just a minute. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Folks, I posted a chart of Microsoft because uh, it was also in the news uh, today. And I want you to notice that it just made a 382 retracement of the high over the last few days. It was unable to make new highs. It was a sign of weakness. Uh, of course, the, the NASDAQ continued to go higher, but that just happened to be Microsoft. So if you're following any stocks, you can certainly get a pretty good idea of what they're doing. I also checked on uh, our favorite, uh, of course, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. And we'll take a look at Apple here, and you'll see here that uh, it hasn't taken out that one that high that we made up here at 186. You can see the gap up today stopped right at the 61% retracement, but uh, that's still you know real early uh, in the morning here. Uh, did that Apple chart not post? Is that what the problem is? And by the way, folks, um, you, you know it'd be really helpful. Uh, to me if you would start asking questions and stuff and you know give me some feedback because you know I just don't want to sit here for for an hour every day uh, just going over charts I'd like to answer questions for you I tell you a few stories along the way but it would be helpful if I got some uh, calls in or just uh, just uh, Skype or Skype me or email me you know questions that you might have in fact we have one that we're going to do right now from Jeff which is about the Gardley. And this is actually a <clears throat> very good chart. He does some really wonderful work. And uh, let's get this up here so we can take a look at it here. Now, what he's done here is he's put on the swing chart without the bars, which is good because this is what we want to discuss. And you can see that his questions are, which of these trades do you take? First of all, you have a Gartley that is right here, okay, and it makes its profit objective. Well, the answer to that question is, if you look at this, uh, and this is what it did. You can see once you got to this level right here, you, you notice how you have higher bottoms in here. That's the one three five pattern, folks. If this were a true Gartley, this thing would have just kept going down, down, down. But when it gets to this level, this is where you have to make the decision. 
You, you buy it there, and if it keeps going down, you're going to reverse and go back down the other way. I don't reverse very well. So my advice is when you see this, that's what you look for. And you don't have to wait till it gets there. Wait till you see it start going up. Then you know that there's probably a pretty good bottom, especially if there's a time sequence that lines up pretty good. That's what these patterns for are for, folks, is tell you when they work and when they don't work. Look at this thing. This is a perfect A, B, C, D to the upside. Each of these swings are equal to the downside. This one is 618. This bigger one is 382. What else can you do? I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, we don't know what the longer term try pattern is, but when you're trading a pattern like this, that's not what your concern is. Just like when I'm looking at that, the uh, E-mini S&P, I'm, uh, I'm not concerned about what's happening with that E-mini S&P. I'm over a, a, a you know two or three day period. I'm looking at that 15 minute chart that tells me that's where the ABCD is and that's where I can trade. Now, my you know, there's no way I'm going to lose on that because you've got to put your stop, uh, you know, lower your stop down quite a bit to uh, at least uh, book in $500. So, but that that's that's how you do that. I mean, I hope I when I do another uh, day trading things one of these days, I I'll be happy uh, to do that. I. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I was going to tell you another funny story that Steve and I went over. He asked me if I remember the time we were uh, when we first met in 1985. He used to stop by the trading house uh, on his way to teach at Cal Poly, and he lived at the bottom of the hill on the beach with his mom, and uh, she had just moved out here from uh, New York just to spend the summer with him, but she stayed three years, which was great because she was wonderful to be around. But he would come up, and we would trade together for a few hours, and we were trading pork bellies. And I was in the, starting the divorce. This was in uh, 85. It was a, uh, July of 85, I believe. And I had a position on in pork bellies, and, and uh, I, I, I was telling Steve, I said, this is not working. This is not working. And I just got off the phone. Uh, with the uh, ex-wife and uh, what I did was I added to a position and I said oh I shouldn't have done that and then I, I put a stop in I got out of both of them he says why did you do that and I said well I said I was on the phone and I was upset and I was trying to get my money back and I was revenge trading all those things are wrong he said well at least you put a stop in because bellies went straight up after that but he always reminded me he said look he said, that whenever you talk to your ex-wife, he said, don't trade. So anyway, that that was uh, – so, gosh, I just tell you, there's so wonderful stories. I've told the one with Bryce Gilmore before, but I'm not going to tell that one uh, anymore right now, but I'll tell others. He was uh, responsible for the Shapiro iteration. And I, you know, being the old country boy from Indiana, iteration, man, I said, I never heard of a big word like that. And he says, basically, what you want to do is to wait one bar after point D has been hit. And an iteration was, was basically the one bar rule. So we called it the Shapiro iteration. Got a lot of feedback on that over the years, but, but that's basically what it was, is when you get to that level, wait to one bar to see if you're going to hold that level. And uh, sometimes it's very, very helpful. But uh, those are a few of the things that uh, we went through uh, as, we, as we talked yesterday. Okay, now let's get back to uh, another chart that was very important. And that was the one we got from Larry Williams. And remember, Larry is a pretty sharp guy. In fact, I spoke to him about Dr. Steve yesterday. And uh, hold on just a second. We'll get this up here. You'll see that uh, there's uh, where we are right here. He's expecting a major low here around July the 15th, folks. Down in about three weeks is what he's looking for. Now, if you'll remember, Chris Caroline is looking for one. I believe it's on the 25th. Yes, it's on the 25th. Of, uh, now, Chris Caroline does a lot of astro and uh, harmonic work, whereas Larry does only cycle cycle stuff. But they're all very good. As you can see, it's been pointing down here into July 15th. That was another reason why I've been interesting in to try to find a place where you can get it into the market. Now, we went right to the 61% retracement in the NASDAQ, excuse me, in the Russell at 1896, the high was 1898, and it's 30 handles under that right now. So something must be right in some of these darn things. You know, they don't always work, but when they do, they work, you know, relatively well. We're going to have Mike Moore on here 
uh, very, very soon, and we're going to see what's happening. I need to check to see how the soybeans are doing. Ah, they're making new highs on the day, up 15 cents. Corn, wheat, and beans are all up, which is good. Uh, let's see, we've got the S&Ps uh, still working okay, and the Treasury bonds are still uh, working okay. And uh, the euro is down, but we'll get a better chance to sell that on Monday or Tuesday, I believe, because it's in a really interesting uh, sell zone to uh, take a look at that. Uh, also, folks, uh, one of the things that we want to be doing now is I will be sending out probably more videos uh, next week. Uh, starting because uh, we're in the midst of this growing season in the beans and we want to take full advantage of it. So let's take a break. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I think Mike Moore is a little uh, sort of busy today, so I want to continue on here. I posted a chart here of Google, which is a pretty expensive stock, you know. Uh, used to be about three thousand bucks, but now it's uh, quite a bit. Oh, we've got Mike on the line now. Mike, are you there? Yep. How are you? Very good. Well, listen, we're ready for you to uh, chime in. So please show us what you're looking at, my friend. Well, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. We have um, appreciate you having you. You want to look at the energies first, or 
Yes, sir. Start out with the crude oil, then we'll do the natural gas. Do natural gas at the end of that, and heating oil, gasoline, and all the others too. They're really great. So keep them up. Okay. So crude oil, obviously, has been in this uh, big consolidation. I'm just going on a high view here that we've been talking about for the past couple months. I do believe that this is corrective in nature, meaning that. I think that the, the likelihood is just to head higher in a, in a major way, more so than downward. But we'll have to see. It's obviously been uh, grinding for quite a while. And more recently, <clears throat> got a lot of crazy lines on here, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, the break above 65, 30 to 31, warrant of decent strength. We've seen $9.75 of that. That's on hold right now. Um, the reason being, we broke below a very steep formation right here, came off hard, held this lower one, we bounced up and chopped around here. So market's really trying to decide what it's going to do. If we come back off and we take off the, this lower formation, which is going to come in at uh, decent trade below 68.60, that comes in a little bit higher now. That comes in at 68.64, plus 0.7 of a tick per hour. We'll project this downward $7.30 minimum. Could possibly see a lot more than that. And this will be a particularly good place to short because you'll be violating a bullish formation and uh, taking out a bearish formation at the same time. If it was to break down below that line decently and back up through it decently, I'd be out of wool shorts long and looking for this to probably rally back up towards the $75 area. If we rally up and we take out this steep line above, which comes in at 73.29 uh, plus four per hour, that's going to want a renewed strength. And then this formation up in here. Uh, Mike, we need to see you. We're not seeing your charts, my friend. We oh, need to see thank your you for stopping me. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. I, I'm watching him in mind, but I, I realize the other folks can't. So there we can. Oh, we no, like no, looking no. at you because you're a movie star quality, but they like the charts better. <laughs> uh, there we go. The, can you see a chart yeah. now? Yeah, we're in good shape now. All right. So basically, we, we broke below this steep line yesterday, and it really got hammered, and then held this lower formation that we broke out above last week that had been traveling down. We held it once here, we came down, held it again, and popped up. So the market's really trying to decide what it's going to do in here. If it comes down and takes out these two lines below, it should be an excellent place to short it below there because you'll be violating a bullish formation here and taking out a bearish formation at the same time. If it breaks below these decently and back up through it decently, I'd be out of all shorts long and looking for that to, sh to probably run back up to the 75 even area. But down below here, we are projected downward seven dollars and thirty cents minimum um okay. now if we take this line up this steep line up out up here that's going to warrant a renewed strength that's just sort of a minor pattern but if we take out this pattern that's a major pattern and that is going to project this upward uh significantly probably to the tune of at least seven dollars as well and that line up there came into 75 37 plus 0.3 of a tick per hour as of eight o'clock this morning it's just shifted over a couple points. On it. I think my phone is listening to me. What, the, what was that? What was that message that you got, uh, Mike? What did that I don't mean? know. I guess it? Siri's listening to me. She's telling me that she's working on that. So I don't know. I, mean, I, don't I have my phone well, on I, silent, but even, she's listening to me anyway. I don't even know what a series is, so you're you're okay. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Uh, any questions on that before I go to the natural gas? No, that, that's good. Now, do you, on that line, do you just automatically draw it from the bottoms, or do you use a forty-five degree angle? I don't. I don't really think of angles that much. Okay. I just, you know, I have some kind of different ways that I draw them. It, it's not always yeah. from the tops or the bottoms. It's kind of uh, okay. Different me different methods to evaluate. It's kind of kind of hard to explain. I understand. I totally understand. Um, this here is the natural gas. Hang on a second. And, um, you know, we've been in this long downward slide. I think that, you know, this is petering out on some levels. I mean, these are getting shallower and shallower over here and the highs are getting shallower. So we might see some more grinding, maybe even some lower trade before slash if this thing resumes higher trade. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 
it's just really not showing its hand right now in anything major. But um, right now we, we had uh, had this bear structure down here. As soon as we got above this line, that changed the picture. We've been bullish. Um, so the break back above 2165 warned a renewed strength. We've seen 181 ticks of that before rolling over. And uh, so it's really just hard to say right here. I don't have a really strong picture of it. I think we would go up here. We're going to have to deal with some exhaustion levels up in here at 239.60 and 240.60 and then 246.60 to 247.60. Okay. But it's a little early to tell uh, whether or not we're, you know, building a base or not. I mean, this obviously could be a part of it, but uh, be cautious on jumping on that bandwagon um, too early. And then in the RBOB, which was leading the upside uh, quite a bit, we got – we've been long since uh, – or bullish since the break above 237.29, warned of significant strength for days slash weeks. We saw 34.95 cents of that. Um, then we broke below these formations. That got us bearish when we were talking last time, and then we broke above this formation – which are warned a higher trade. We popped up, rolled right back over to it, held, and then rallied. Now, we broke below the steep formation and then broke back above it. So right now, I think that this is poised for higher trade. Whereas okay. the crude, it's not as clear of a picture. And um, just to give you some teeth to that, this uh, this higher, that higher formation was 254.48 minus three ticks per hour. That brought in 13.74 cents. That was the break above here, and then this steeper line uh, comes in right now immediately just below the market at um, two sixty one ninety nine. Can you just give me one second, Larry? I you take just, your time. No, it's just you know, just I, I go second. through the same thing all the time. So you know, do what you need to do. You will understand it. thing about working uh, at home. I'm working from home anyway that's what i was just Sorry saying it's that. one of the advantages of working at home i've been working at home since 19 oh my god 83 you know 85 85 mm -hmm. all right so back on this um this r bob broke back above that steep formation that comes in okay. at 261 14 plus 13 ticks per hour that's right in here okay hey, uh, mike we got to take a break now so uh give us three okay. minutes and we'll be right back sounds good We'll be right back with Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. Stay tuned. Thank you. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Please continue, my friend. Now I have a robot making noise in the background. Sorry. You do have Sorry. a robot? What's that? You have a robot? Yeah, it's a house cleaning robot. So. Oh, I got um, worried. Maybe I should have used one of those. I think it's been <laughs> easier. Now this is the heating oil here. This has been um, chopping around a little bit. Back yep. The heating oil, the break above 229.93 to 230.05. We're under decent strength. We've seen 12.81 cents of that. And last Friday, we also left a minor bullish reversal below. We've seen 7.17 cents of that. A uh, decent trade above 240.17 minus two ticks per hour should bring in further strength. That's this line right here. We rallied up and held it, and we're rolling over a bit. Oh. That line's going to come in at uh, 240.08 as of this hour. 240.08, yeah. And then just real quick. Looking at the cracks, the heat crack has been strong. That's why the heat has been strong relative to the crude. And the RBOB crack suggests that the RBOB has been strong relative to the crude as well. So both of those would have led the market to the upside if you were along. You have any questions on the energies? Or you want me to no, move no, something No, no, this is great. Let's move on to uh, the stock indices. Okay. So the S&P 500 at a really critical area here. Back up. So, I'm sorry, I'll take that off. Just as a backup, because you've had me on for quite a while now. Uh, if you recall, on the higher time frame, I had called a major low at 3502, and we've bounced 803.75 so far from that, and a little bit more than that today. Mm -hmm. And we came up to hold this major exhaustion level here. I'm going to make this, car, this chart look crazy. It has all these lines because I'm, I'm going from a lower time frame chart, which has all these lines, to a higher time frame chart, so they look scrunched. But this is a main exhaustion level area. Even though we popped above it a little bit, we held this old major high here at 43.2750, and our high here was uh, 43.2550. And then we have a, two other major exhaustion levels up here. If we take those out, then this is headed for the highs, likely. Um, yeah, sure could. Easy. Yeah. And we just broke above a bullish formation today in here. I said that uh, get long and a decent penetration above 43.0110 minus 5 per hour. Um, we're on a pullback thereafter. So we got the break and then a pullback. Let me just double check here. 2.25. Yeah, that was enough break. So this is a decent break. We pulled right back down. Haven't hit the stop. So this is projecting this higher. If this fails, then this thing could really start to come off. And if we take out this line down below, then we're going to see even further pressure. And that line is going to come in at. That line comes in at 42.48.33 and just moves up slightly per hour. 
Okay. Um, that was the one the other day I said that if we broke above here, we'd see renewed strength up into this area. So we got that strength. And then we held this exhaustion area here, here. And this is still basically holding it on a macro level, but on a shorter term level, you want to be long right here. So obviously, okay. that makes sense. There is a other, oh, actually, let me just go over one other thing. There is a large bearish formation down in here. If this did happen to roll over and take this out, then um, the market would be in trouble uh, near term. That well, that's comes down in quite that. a bit, though, isn't it? What's that? Uh, that's down quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it comes in at 40, 41.80.75 and basically moves up. Um, for your listeners, uh -huh. 80.75. Well, I won't get into it. Anyway, it's 41.80.75 right now. You can see the basic slope of it. So that would be a different story. You have any questions on that? Or you want me to jump to the goal? No, let's go to the next one. No, you, it's quite clear what you're looking at. So very, okay. very concise. So the cold right, gold right now is bullish. <clears throat> um, but the bigger story here, and if any of you that have been watching over the past months, Larry's uh, been interviewing me. I talked about the solid trade below 2062.90 warns a solid pressure for days slash weeks. We saw 131.9 per ounce of that in the June contract, which which rolled into the August. All these other things are on, on hold. And then I said we held exhaustion below at 1947 with the 1949.80 low. We bounced uh, 50.9. And then uh, I said today that decent trade above, excuse me here, right. decent trade above 1972.40 will project this up with 24 minimum, 76 plus maximum. So we just broke above there today, decently pulled right back to the line and we're starting to bounce. So from here, we're either headed higher. And if we take out this upper formation, that'll project this up even further. Or if we fail back down through this formation, that's going to be bearish. And this below this formation, it'll be even more bearish. And the projections from the upper one are 41 minimum, 49 plus maximum. Okay. And the trade uh, projections below the, the lower one are 28 minimum. Do, do you do silver, Mike? No. But I can look at it for you real quick if you want. Yeah, if you, if you have a chance to look at it, we have a request to uh, take a look at silver. I don't trade it too often anymore myself, but uh, mm -hmm. certainly it, it, it charts nicely. You can. So the silver has really just been chopping around for quite a bit here. Um, we had broken out of this base uh, back in July of 2020 rallied all the way up, pulled right back down to that line, and we've been moving upwards since. I think in general it's bullish to me. Let me just take yeah. a look at the oh, – that was platinum, I'm sorry. Silver daily. And like I said, I don't really uh, – I don't really look at this every day. Uh, did they, that? Did your viewer have any specific questions? I didn't yeah, really I did have think a, of where we are right now. Are you in a, would silver be in a sell mode or a buy mode? Is what his question was. I hate to put you on a. Well, spot I don't know what his time trading. frame is for trading, but I would be uh, he, more more bullish he, this than I would be bearish. Now that's a question that he just gave me a thumbs up, so that was the answer that he wanted. So thank you very much. You know, in order to say that, really, though, I mean, I got to know the time frame. Like, is he holding this for months or is he, you know, or years? Well, he's or is holding he, it. Is he talking you know, about he's, today, you know? <laughs> so no, he's, he's talking about weeks. But, no, that's fine. Okay. And we can move on, move on to the next one. Okay. So you want to take a look? Oh, so take a look at the Bitcoin real quick. Yes, that's a that's a, was the next one on my list because it's getting a lot of, a lot of press these days. So Bitcoin um, – really held some very key and important areas in here. So we held downside exhaustion at 25.440 to 030 with the 25.315 low and rallied yep. 22.10. And then the trade above 25.805 to 840, I said we also want a renewed strength for days, which we've been seeing. We've seen 16.85 out of that. Decent trade above 27.602 minus four per hour. Now that that was came at, at six o'clock this morning, so you just gonna adjust that per hour. We'll project this up at 26 minimum, 3700 plus maximum. 
Um, okay. Mike, we got to pay a few bills, so stay with us. And we want to talk to you okay. about your auto trading program, okay? Okay. We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, we're back with Mike Moore, Moore Analytics. Uh, we're going to talk about the auto trade program. Uh, do you have any uh, track record on that uh, yet? Um, Tim, because yeah. I've had several people ask. Yeah, it's, um, you know, if you go to my web, um, let me pull it up real quick for you. So if you were to go to my website, for example, and just go to more analytics, then you went to Auto Trader. We only have one of the trade, one of the program, the only program open right now is the LTF bracket. These are okay. still about to come online, but. They're not ready yet, but if you go to the performance on there, you go to the disclaimer. This shows you the performance as of um, April 10th. Okay. So with max run up is 30% um, in just under two months, which is pretty cool. 61% winning days, number of trades is 61 which is important because you don't want to just say, well, this is the track record over eight trades, right? Yeah, sure. That numerical right. body doesn't mean as much, but 61 trades is pretty pretty solid yeah, amount of trades. Good. That's great. Now, how, how do they get in touch with you if they want to do something like this? 
Uh, you can just go right to their website and fill out a form on there. Um, it'll have a it'll have a direct form where you can reach out to me at um, right here. Either one of those. Okay. And then I can send you on to Bill Orlowski that will talk to you yeah. talk you through yeah, it a little bit more in depth. He's a super broker in Chicago for commodities, that's for sure. Hey, listen, yeah. uh, we're closing up here, so thanks for joining us. We'll have you on next week, so stay tuned. If you have anything special that you want to talk about, let me know, and I'll get you on the air anytime you have a, something really special, Mike, okay? Thank you very much. It's an honor to be on. I hope you it's have a great an honor to have Thank you, Thank everybody else for watching. You bet. Okay, folks, that should wrap us up here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.